So it's fitting I start my sales off today with this Cleveland Browns vintage starter jacket. Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name's Rob, also known as Chesapeake Picker. Welcome to the channel. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. Currently, 87% of my viewers are not subscribed, but I did just cross over 700 subscribers. So thank you guys very much for that. 300 more and I can start to monetize this channel, which will be awesome. All right, to this has been an awful week. Not an eBay sales week. Sales have been pretty good. Uh, this has been an awful week at work. If you guys have been watching, you know, I don't talk about my job a whole lot, but I am a full-time nurse, and uh, it's just been a rough week. You know what's going on in the world. You can uh, fill in the blanks. But moving on to some positive things here. I'm going to talk about some sales. I got some pretty decent ones up today. I got four things going out on this Thursday, and let's go ahead and take a look. First thing I got up, I'll throw up the uh, full picture on the screen. This is a Panhandle Slim. It's like a cowboy western shirt. I got this at a garage sale with a whole bunch of these for a buck. Um, clothing, I don't do a lot of clothing. I do some sports-related stuff, some jackets here and there, but I have seen these move on some channels that I watch and they sell for pretty decent money. So I've already sold a couple of them. This will make my money. I think I've made like 75 bucks off of this, like $5 I spent so far. This one went out for $24 with free shipping. It's a men's size large. Um, it will go out in a flat rate shipper, so like $7.33 to ship that out. All right, next one here is a die cast car. This is a Dale Jarrett, um, part of a big lot of stuff I bought. You can see the rest of them back there. Uh, this one is actually signed by Dale Jarrett. Uh, I've had this up just as long as all the others. Took a little while to move because it was priced a little higher. No certificate of authenticity or anything like that, but it still sold for $50 plus shipping. And this will go out in a padded flat rate envelope, cost $7.52 to ship. So I picked up this copy of Hannibal the other day by Thomas Harris, part of the Hannibal Lecter trilogy. I think I got this for $1.98, and then I came across at a Goodwill. It's just a media store. I don't make it there often, but I did go there about a week, hey, about a week ago, and I found this copy of The Silence of the Lambs, and this is a first edition. This one isn't, but they're both in excellent condition. I thought about completing the trilogy, the Hannibal Lecter trilogy, and lotting them up, but I figured in the meantime, might as well get these two up, and they sold for $50 plus shipping. So I picked up a whole bunch of these DVDs. They are the uh, Christmas style at Williamsburg. They're all new and sealed. I got them for a buck ninety-eight. You know, I know they're going to sell, but Christmas season is over, but Christmas stuff sells all year. I had like eight watchers on them, so I went ahead and I just sent offers out for 10 bucks. I had them for $12.99 with free shipping, and somebody purchased one. We'll see if the others go out, but I got one going out here. 10 bucks, free shipping, 280 to ship out. So, you know, I'm making like five, 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 six bucks on that. All right, next up I got here is an old toy of mine. Uh, gave it to my son, didn't play with it. So, finally selling it. This is Brave, or yeah, this is Brave Star. It's an old cowboy futuristic show from the 80s. Um, stole this guy. He's got no accessories, no hat. He's got some paint chips there. Still $10 plus shipping. Next up, I got is this Nike hat. Picked this up uh, for a couple, two, three bucks at the thrift store. Got a whole ton of hats a couple weeks back. Uh, $12.99 plus shipping. Hi right, guys, as I'm filming this, it is now Sunday. It is going to be game time soon, so I can't wait to see what my Browns can do in the playoffs. So it's fitting I start my sales off today with this Cleveland Browns vintage starter jacket i picked this up at a salvation army thrift store for a dollar 98 it is a men's xl i thought about keeping it for myself if it didn't sell but i got an offer on it for 79 dollars plus shipping so i'm gonna go ahead and send that out if you're wondering what this is here yesterday i was making chili and sliced the tip of my thumb off with uh with a knife while i was cutting up peppers not like through the bone or anything just kind of right down to the uh nail there so i gotta keep it wrapped up so if you like this video give me a thumbs up next up i got this uh guess women's uh 
pea coat that I picked up at Goodwill last weekend. I spent $8.99 on this. I think I might have actually used my 20% off little stamp card that day. I'm not sure on that. But anyway, we'll just say $8.99 and it sold relatively quick on eBay for $50 plus shipping. Uh, buyer was just about $65 all in. I was able to fit this in a 12 by 12 by 10 USPS box and it shipped out at four pounds. Next up I got is off the display here. I got this here. This is a Archie Manning uh, figurine here, NFL Legends. I got this for $4.25 at Goodwill. You know, rough box, but still new and sealed. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. If you've been watching this channel since the beginning, um, I picked this up at a garage sale where I got a whole bunch of stuff like sewing machines and things like that. So I made hundreds of dollars at this sale. Um, this is just a Jumanji game. It is new, like open box is how I listed it here. Um, $12 free shipping. It's light. Probably go out about an eight ounce rate in a bubble mailer. Stepping over to Macari for a second, and I sold this Morrowind Prophecies. This is a strategy guide, I guess, for Xbox uh, and PC. So I got this at the Goodwill bins, cost a quarter, and I sold it for $55 free shipping. And this is going to go at no ads, media mail. Got this new sealed DVD, Zookeeper, from my buddy Mike, uh, $9.99 free ship. And I, I've probably talked about these things to death, but these little coin collector books little profits most people wouldn't mess with them but i did have somebody buy five of them which is 17 dollars and 50 cents plus shipping i'll go ahead and refund the remainder to them this will probably go out about a 12 ounce rate so I'll just throw it in a bubble mailer and ship it out i picked up this copy of interview with the vampire at uh, chkd thrift the other day i either got 98 cents or a dollar 98 into it i'm not sure but it did sell for 14.25 with free shipping and i only had it maybe maybe two weeks not an amazing sale, but a sale nonetheless. I got this uh, Stuttgart, Germany hat at a garage sale for a dollar. Um, had it up for a while, and it did sell for $12 with free shipping. So it probably cost about $3.50 to ship this one out. I'm not sure exactly, you know, how this was made or anything like that, if it's official or handmade, but it is a Redskins license plate. You know, it's kind of an aluminum thing here. Came out of the big lot of Redskins merchandise that I picked up off of Craigslist. This one went out for $9.99 plus shipping. Not all of these WrestleMania things are big money, so definitely look them up if you come across them at the thrift stores. Um, this is a WrestleMania, the complete anthology, 2000 to 2004. I got this at a CHKD thrift for $2.98. Sold comps on this are great. This is like a 300% sell-through rate. Sold for $45 plus shipping in just a couple days. I guess so now I'm going to take you through some things that I picked up this weekend. Uh, didn't do a ton of, set of uh, thrift stores, but I did go out for a couple hours yesterday morning, which would have been Saturday. And uh, first thing I, I saw when I walked into the CHKD that is right by my house, it was a whole bin of shoes. Let me show you that. So I got four pairs of Jordans. They are all size 13, which isn't the, the best selling size, but it's not out of the realm of where it's going to go. But I got all four of these for $32 after taxes are concerned. I should be able to sell even the worst pair of these for that much plus shipping. So I'll be into the profits just after the first one. This one right here will probably be my worst selling pair. And if you can see, just because they got some creasing in them and stuff, um, but this one was actually pretty dirty. I passed up on two or three of them just because they weren't in the best shape um, or I couldn't find sold comps. So I was worried they might be uh, fakes, but these were definitely real. Um, so I cleaned them up yesterday. So what I did to clean these shoes up was I used the white toothpaste method. So I just took some toothpaste, a toothbrush, and I just scrubbed it around all over on these. Let it sit for a couple hours and then just wiped it off with a damp towel. And um, I mean, they're not perfect, but it is definitely a lot better. I don't know if you could see in the video of when I picked these up, but they were a lot dirtier. You know, none of these is in really like amazing shape, so I'm not going to get top dollar for them. One thing you do want to be careful if you're using that toothpaste method is to be careful of the suede parts. So I just scrubbed around it here, um, and you definitely want to use either toothpaste or detergent or something like that to clean them off. If you use the uh, vinegar and baking soda method, it can yellow the uh, leather parts on your shoes. So you don't want to use that on that, but that method does work for cloth. 
I picked up this pretty cool uh, Stephen Berry's Hot Rod Cafe jacket. I uh, found this at a Goodwill for $6.99. It's got some really cool stitching and stuff on it. Some big logo decals. There's not a ton of these out there, but they do all sell for pretty good money. This one here is a size large and there was a large that just sold already in January for $45 plus shipping, which is exactly what this one's going to be going up at. Next couple things I got up here was this. It's a uh, wooden mug here with a metal inside here. This is a like a pint glass from the Prancing Pony from uh, Lord of the Rings. I got this for a buck ninety nine at Salvation Army. Sold comps on this pretty good, probably about twenty five bucks on that. And then this one was five ninety nine, also same place. It's this University of Texas, the Longhorns. It's a Mrs. Claus statue. So yeah. Christmas is over, but there's only a couple of these out there. Sold comps on this one pretty good, up right around 50 bucks plus shipping. So definitely a couple of nice pickups there. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the channel as always. Please remember, hit that like button, subscribe down below for more content. Drop me any questions, comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.